hello welcome back to my channel it's your girl lumsy i'm back again with another video guys this sewing tutorial is on tutu dress the pink tutu dress the last time i made a video on how to cut pattern drafting and cut the dress today's tutorial is the sewing tutorial like i promised i am going to show you how to sew this dress and I'm going to share with you some sewing tips and tricks. So remember to watch till the end so you don't miss any of the sewing tips. So I will start the sewing by sewing first the yoke to add the illusion neckline to the dress. Make sure you watch till the end so that you see all the sewing tips and tricks that I'm going to be using on this tutorial so this would help you whenever you're sewing your mesh fabric you're adding an illusion neckline to your dress the way you will sew your yoke so after top stitching it I cut off the excess to make this illusion neckline very neat As you can see how neat it's looking, I'll go ahead and do the same thing to the back and I'm going to join this at the shoulder after doing the same thing to the back. This time around I'm not going to top stitch it, I'll just go ahead and cut off the excess to make the shoulder neat also. So go ahead and do the same thing to the both sides and I am going to sew this together to keep it in place like one piece you see how neat this is always use these sewing tips so I'm going to sandwich the main fabric and the yoke Go ahead and top stitch it to have a clean finishing next sewing tips I'm going to show you how I binded the sleeve like this you see how neat it is yes I've done it on that side I will do it on this side for you to see so I cut out a bias strip with my two fabric I cut out 1.25 inches and i'm going to sew it like this the sewing allowance i'm using is 1.25 so i'll just go ahead and sew it all around i'm going to go ahead and top stitch this then again i'm going to cut out the essence this keeps your illusion neckline very neat it's looking very neat and still strengthened so i'm going to go over and top stitch this if you're enjoying these sewing tips make sure you give this video a thumbs up and follow for more sewing tutorials so I'm going to go ahead and close the side seam. And go ahead and do it to this other side too. So after joining the two sides, I'm going to go ahead and make the ruffle for the upper side. So I'm making two layers. The first one is 15 inches and I'm going to fold it. And then pleat it but before I pleat it I am going to first of all baste it that's sew it together fold it and sew it together so it's in place and easy for me to pleat once I'm done baste it I'll go ahead and pleat it like so this makes it faster trust me so I made two ruffles of this one was 15 inches and the other one was 18 inches so I have 
mark these lines one six inches and the other one seven inches so for the first layer i'm going to take the one that is 18 inches and start as the first layer and i place it like this and i'm going to attach this to the borders and then the one of uh, 15 inches folded in two i am going to attach it to the second line that i have made so this is me preparing the second layer which is 15 inches just the same way i did for the first one i am going to fold it baste it in place before i start making the ruffle so after i am done i will attach it the same way i have attached the first layer so i will set that aside and go to the ruffles doing that i have to change my presser foot to ruffle foot i use 15 inches for the whole tier so i'm just going to go ahead and do the ruffles for all of them at the same time first of all after making the ruffles i will check if this fits my my waistline so that i will use it as a guide so i'm making sure it fits my waistline when it's exactly that i will stop and leave this one and then go ahead and attach the second layer to the first layer remember they are all 15 inches so after making these tears the remaining fabric i got i had to use it to make the skirt fuller so i had to first of all hem the lining and then i'm going to mark one inch or one and a half inches um, below the waistline and attach the remaining 15 inches to i will attach it here just to make the skirt fuller till this time don't forget to subscribe because in the next video i'm going to be sharing how i made this tutu dress so stick with me and let's do this see you on my next video bye